Walt Disney, the man whose enthusiasm and vision was the driving spirit behind this incredible undertaking, has been gone for almost 16 years. At the time of his passing, a most eloquent tribute to Walt was delivered by this gentleman, Eric Severide. Danny, a few lines from that old piece, if I may. Oh, please do. Disney was an original, I thought, not just an American original, but an original period. Mm -hmm. He was a happy accident, one of the happiest that this century had ever experienced. And judging by the way it's been behaving, in spite of all Disney tried to tell it about laughter and love and children and puppies and sunrises, the century hardly deserved it. He probably did more to soothe troubled human spirits than all the psychiatrists in the world. <laughs> and to a child, this weary world is brand new and gift-wrapped. Disney tried to keep it that way for adults. You see, we all spend our lives trying to recapture the vision, trying to see the world afresh. Most of us lose that touch. Disney never did. I wish I'd known him. Oh, well, I was very lucky, Eric. I did know him. And I think you would have been enormously pleased about what you just said. Thank you. Now, Eric, on a, on a personal note, I'm, I've been watching you all afternoon. You've been wandering around here scribbling like crazy. Now, uh, would you tell me a little of what you've been writing? I, I began life as a scribbler, uh, Danny. <laughs> uh, just a few impressions. But the center, uh, it's obviously far from just entertainment. I think the whole thing's designed as information, instruction, and inspiration. Now, this man dealt in the gossamer of dreams and fantasies. But look how he's created this tangible, and permanent monument to real life and humanity. I think he knew that in our time, fantasy and reality are merging together. Mm. And obviously, he was a perfectionist. The passion for truthful detail is all through this center. And he was always upbeat. You know, somebody said there are three kinds of people in this world, the well poisoners, the lawn mowers, and the life enhancers. <laughs> Disney was like you. He was a life enhancer. Oh, thank you. And this place itself is a celebration, not only of technology and creativity, but of the American dream as well. I must tell you, I've had a wonderful time here at Epcot, and I hope, I hope some of you share that feeling as well. On behalf 
of Epcot and all the people who took part in this show tonight. On behalf of all of them, I would like to thank them. I would like to thank you. And I'd like to send you the very best of wishes. Good luck and good night. I hope to see you soon.